Good morning, LHS. I'm Zoe Wells. And I'm Jose Reyes. It's Friday 13. Here's what's happening today. It's your last day to submit your answer to the weekly math question, so don't forget to enter your response by noon. We'll announce the winner on Monday. The ACT is this Saturday, so make sure you bring your admission ticket, a photo ID, pencil, and calculator. Testing starts at 8, so don't be late. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Andrews. The cross-country team is selling tickets for a chance to win a Yeti cooler. Tickets are $5. Please support our runners. Student government, your meeting is in Mr. Seth's room today immediately after school. Today is the day to choose your Disney movies. The winner of the first average daily attended weekly competition is the junior class. Go juniors! Who pulled up past freshmen and sophomores and ended the week at 94%. That means all juniors and juniors only will be permitted to go to lunch minutes earlier than everyone else today. Freshmen ended the week at 93%, sophomores at 92%, and even the seniors improved at 90%. Now over to the weather. Happy Friday the 13th, y'all. I'm Jacob Howard, and here's today's weekend weather report. It's going to be rainy all day, but it will clear up by tonight's varsity football game. Also, look out tonight at 1230. There's going to be a harvest moon. And also check out for this weekend's weather as it's going to be rainy all weekend in the 80s and 90s. And that's your weekend weather report. Today I'm here with a few facts about palindrome week, which is a phrase that reads the same backwards as forwards, which could be also be a number. However, punctuation does not matter, but letters and digits do. Did you know that this week's read the same backwards as forwards? For example, 9, 10, 19 still reads 9, 10, 19. Mind blowing, right? Wow. And that's it for Friday's facts and happy palindrome week. Bye. We're all familiar with the idea that Friday the 13th is bad luck. I mean, heck, even some hotels skip the 13th floor on the elevator buttons just for this reason. But why? The origin of this superstition is unclear, but the first noted references showed up around the mid-19th century. A U.S. Army captain named William Fowler founded the 13 Club, a group of 13 men in New York with an aim to prove superstitions false. They gathered for the first time on Friday the 13th, 1881, and their club activities included things like walking under ladders and breaking mirrors. Sign me up, because that sounds like Fun. Donald Dossey, a folklore historian, suggests that the bad vibes associated with Friday the 13th have roots in ancient history. The number 13 has a shade of misfortune in Nordic mythology, as well as cultural and religious history. In numerology, the study of the symbolism of numbers, 12 stands for completeness, and the 13 is thought of as uh, odd or out of place. It's simply an uncomfortable number. The origins of the unluckiness of Friday as a day are a little bit fuzzier. The name Friday was chosen to honor the Norse goddess Frigg, aka Freya. She was the goddess of love, beauty, wisdom, war, death, and magic. This day was considered to be extremely unlucky for weddings, and later on, the Christian church attempted to demonize the goddess, which also may be a factor in that day's bad luck. With all of those factors added in, it's no wonder people think this day is unlucky. But don't worry, you're gonna be fine because you're amazing. And don't forget, we're on pep rally schedule today. Yeah. Well, that's LHS today. I'm Zoe Wells. And I'm Jose Reyes. And we'll see you here next week. Cool. Yeah, how to work this. I put the speed on like 80 something. <laughs> but it's because it was on 84 for her. There's no way to control it. Like, if I had my phone, I could like connect it. No way. That would be, that would be, think of it. Don't tell nobody that. Let's see what I do. Big brain, big brain. I'm gonna start my own company. 81 shit. Tell people about your ideas like that. Screen, screen share. Wait, isn't screen share? Oh.